Welcome, all right. Well, hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today, and what it is is a mod that could have just easily have flown under my radar. I'm just overjoyed that I set this up. This is the Smoant Cylon uh, Dual 18650 Regulated Box Mod. It's just been a real reliable sort of daily banger of a box mod. I've really enjoyed using it. I've got it topped right now with the Twisted Messes Black Twisted. Messes 24 Pro Series and a red, uh, you know, this is the carry DHD tip. It's like white and red with bloody drips and it just looks very cool. But in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we often do. That's right. Quick short up, be closey time, go. Yep, here we are. We're going to talk about this Smoant Cylon box mod, dual 18650 battery door opens on the bottom for your batteries and it's pretty clearly marked. This is negative, this is positive. So you want your positive end facing the positive and you want your negative end facing the negative and it just closes shut, feels good. It feels pretty secure on there. Overall, I feel like this is a pretty cool looking mod. Look, I'm not in love with like this fake leather snake skin on here. It's fine, like it doesn't bother me, but what kind of bothers me is I just wish it was the same pattern. You kind of have this pattern over here, then you kind of have a very different pattern over here. I don't know, maybe that's just the little bit of OCD inside of me, but I would like it if these were matched. I would honestly actually like it if these were like, uh, carbon fiber or something cool like that. The snake skin, I don't know, it's whatever. It doesn't really bother me, but I would have preferred if these matched or if this was carbon fiber, or maybe if this was even like brushed aluminum or something, I feel like that would look really cool. Otherwise, it's that same shape that a lot of other box mods are. It's this sort of like, uh, you know, rectangle, rounded rectangle shape that kind of fits in your hand very, very securely. It's real comfortable to hold. You got a fire button right here. The strange thing about this fire button is you have to press it at the very top for it to work and click. Press it down here, nothing happens. It's just firm and nothing clicks. And up here is where it clicks. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. When you're holding it and you press it, you kind of have to aim for the top of it to get it to fire. But once you press it and click it, it's a real nice little clicky button right there. Got a very nice spring-loaded 510 on top as well. I've had no issues with, you know, jumping resistances or it not reading anything. Everything I've put on here from tanks to atomizers and everything in between, it they fit on here and, and they work great. I'm also kind of not in love with this little swirly jewel symbol right there. Um, it, it's not ugly. I just don't like it. I just kind of wish it wasn't there. I just wish this was a smooth, black, flat, matte black surface rather than having this weird, oddly blue jewel in the middle. Uh, it just seems like an odd design choice to me. The screen though on this mod is is one of the shining things of this mod. It just looks beautiful. You can choose your wallpaper for the background. It's a limited number of wallpapers and some of them in there are a little weird like dogs and cats and stuff. But three clicks gets you to the menu system. I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera. Yeah, so you can choose like a like the, the kitten wallpaper, maybe, if you're into that. Hold the fire button, you'll get out to the menu, and now you have a, a gray kitten in the background. There's a lot you can do with this. In TC mode, you can choose uh, between custom TSR or TCR, sorry, and then, you know, nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Hold this to go back. And even when you want to choose variable wattage mode, you can click it and you can choose between normal, maximum, or hard, depending, you know, this is for uh, ramp up times on your coils, or you can choose the curve option, which I never choose the curve option. I just want to hit my mod and have it fire. So I kind of just leave it on normal, I guess, because that's what I'm used to. And then in the settings, you can set your clock and everything like that. This does have a clock on the front, which I generally make fun of, but it's actually pretty useful. But I want to change that wallpaper. I'm sick of looking at the cats already. And this is kind of what you get to choose from. It's nothing super really very cool. There's kind of this spacey one back here that I really like, this blue one. I like that one. I like the blue one and I'm going to leave it on the blue one because this screen 
looks great. It shows you everything you need to know. It's going to show you your resistance. It's going to show you the voltage that's firing at. It's going to show you your wattage. Unfortunately, your wattage, no matter where you are, adjusts in 0.1 watt increments, which when you get up into the higher wattages, I find very annoying. I'd like to go from 70 to 80 watts without having to press this a bunch or hold it and calculate when it's going to speed up real fast and you have to let go. That's kind of annoying. I just wish it, it I just wish it went in one watt increments. Otherwise, this is a beautiful screen. It's got a big display, nice, bright, crisp wallpaper behind it. Shows your wattage clear as day, what you need right there. It's even branded Smoant. And then you have these two long battery level indicators. Uh, yeah, and then you have the big uh, clock screensaver as well. And you can choose in the menu system how long the mod will sit before it displays this big clock. Seems like a weird choice to have this big white analog looking clock on your screensaver when the home screen itself is so cool and sleek and modern looking and the screensaver just kind of looks weird and wonky with this big clock. Again, not a deal breaker, just, you know, something to be aware of. I really do like having the time on here and I know that's dumb to say, but I like looking down at my mod and seeing the time or a big white clock. I was going to say before this switches again, these battery level indicators, very cool, very accurate, and they're long. They're a long graphic, so you get a good idea of where your batteries are at. But yeah, that's kind of all there is to this Smoant Cylon box mod, dual 18650 box mod. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attach an atomizer. We're going to get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this guy. Great, great, great. So like I've been saying a lot lately, this isn't a mod that is necessarily real revolutionary. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel, but it is a very solid and very durable feeling dual 18650 200 watt regulated box mod. It does temperature control for all of the wires, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and custom TSRs. TSRs, I said it again. I said custom TSR in the uppy closey. Why can't I say custom TCR? Custom TCR. I don't ever mess around with anything regarding temperature control. I don't build with nickel wire. I don't build with stainless steel wire. I just use this in straight up wattage mode. And let me tell you, this 0.17 ohm dual fused Clapton that I have in here right now, or aliens. These are aliens. These are MTurk aliens. They're 0.17. I've got it set to 100 watts right now, and it's just loads of power. Just right away, right when you click the button, just power. There is no lag. There is no downtime on this. It just fires instantly right away and performs like I want a dual 18650 box mod to perform. So really, are you going to need your vape budget hands for something like this for the Cylon from Smoant? Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from $60 to $70, so fairly reasonable price. And I feel like for that price, you're getting a really durable mod. I feel like this is just quite the, the durable mod, if I may. Let me just do a quick drop test and see what happens. I hate this every time. Uh, well, the battery door popped open. The batteries did not come flying out. I was able to shut it. The door didn't break. It all seems fine and in fine working order still. So it can survive that far of a drop test. It just, it feels pretty durable. And when you get it in your hand, it feels nice. It feels substantial. I honestly feel like this is a pretty good value for the money. You're getting a high performance dual battery mod that's made very well and has a nice bright, beautiful display. If there's one thing on this mod that I truly love, it is this display. I would love to see more mods using this type of really crisp display. You just look at it and it just looks nice and crisp. Not quite like, you know, like a Google Pixel phone crisp or like an iPhone 10 crisp, but it is still very crisp and you can see everything that you need to see on here. Sorry, the, 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 the sun went behind the clouds. So if we're going to play the aliens game here or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have no vape gear left to vape, is the Smoant Cylon something I would seek out and buy? Eh, maybe not. 
I don't know. There's a lot of dual 18650 regulated mods out there, and the one thing I truly like about this mod, this beautiful screen, maybe isn't necessarily enough to make me really, really want to seek out this mod and buy it. But, but I also don't want to dissuade anybody. If you're looking for a dual 18650 regulated 200 watt box mod with a clicky button, fake snakeskin, and a beautiful looking display, the Smoant Cylon could be exactly what you're looking for. Anyway, I'm done here. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will throw some links down in the description where you can check this out if you are interested, but it is what it is. Look at that. Smoant Cylon. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, again. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.